everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about weighted k near sniper algorithm in my previous video i have explained the knn uh, algorithm you can refer to that so this is just a continuation of that so given a sample data set how uh, we can choose the nearest sniper for prediction so this weighted kn is an extension of knn so here the principal idea of weighted knn is that K closest neighbors to the test instances are assigned a higher weight in the decision as compared to neighbors that are farther away from the test instance. So the idea is that weights are inversely, inversely proportional to distance. So how we are going to select the neighbors by assigning some weights. So if you compare here, what are the procedure we have to follow in order to identify the weights of the uh, instances and then that has to be applied to the test instance. So given a sample data set here with three attributes, we have three independent attributes, well, CGPA, assessment, and profit submitted. And we have a dependent attribute that is y equal to f of x. Here y is our in output variable, the target variable. So here, given a test instance of uh, 7.6, comma 60, comma h. So this is what our test instance is. For this, we have to calculate the weighted KNN. So whether for this test instance falls under which particular category, whether it falls under pass or whether it falls under fail when K value is equal to 3. So this is what our input is given. Now here, what is the procedure we follow to compute that this test instance falls under pass or fail? The steps is first we should compute the Euclidean distance. So like how we solved in the previous video, you can refer how I have solved the uh, Euclidean distance. So first we should compute the Euclidean distance of all these sample uh, test instances what have been given and arrange in ascending order. Each of the instances should be arranged, eight instances is given here. It should be arranged in ascending order. Then compute the inverse of each distance of the K selected neighbors. So since K value is equal to three here, we have to select 3k neighbors, okay, you have which are, we, who are the neighbors who are nearest to, to this test instance. So, you have to select any 3 neighbors based on the, if you arrange in ascending order, the first 3 who are nearest based on the Euclidean distance, that has to be taken, 3 instances. Then for that, we should compute the sum of the inverses. So, here uh, you have selected uh, k neighbors, find the sum of inverse of that distance. Take the inverse of that Euclidean distance and then you take the sum of that uh, distances. Okay, inverse distances. After that, compute the weight by dividing each inverse distance by the sum. Okay, once we have taken the sum of all the inverses, three neighbors, then for that, compute the weight by dividing each of the test instance inverse distance which you have selected should be divided by the sum. So that is what the weight you are going to get. So next step is add the weights of the same class. Once you compute the sum, uh, compute the weight of each of the instance you have selected, add the weights which belongs to same class. Either it might be pass class or it might be a fail class. Later, you can predict the class by choosing the class with maximum vote. So here after adding the weights of same class, whichever uh, class has the highest weight, so that will be the, our prediction. So that is what our result, that is the target variable can be pass class or it will be a fail class based on the maximum vote we decide. So now, next, how do we calculate the Euclidean distance? So here, first step in this algorithm is first we should compute the Euclidean distance. To compute the Euclidean distance, the formula what we apply is root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus since we have three attributes, I have to take it as x, y, and z. So, y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square. So, this is what my Euclidean distance. I have to compute the Euclidean distance for my test instance given. What is my test instance given? 7.6, comma 60, comma 8. Now, I want to classify this class. This test instance belongs to which class? Either pass class or whether it belongs to a fail class. So this distance, test instance, whatever they have given, we write it as x1, y1, z1. And we take each of these instances as x2, 
2, y2, z2. This column z2, this column is y2, and this column is x2. So how do we complete the compute the Euclidean distance? X2 minus x1. X2 minus x1 means what? 9.2 minus 7.6. 9.2 minus 7.6 the whole square plus you should find the root plus what is my y2 here? This row instance 85. 85 minus 60 the whole square plus z2 minus z1. What is my z2 here? 8. So it will be 8 minus here it is uh, 8 minus 8 the whole square. So by doing this, we can compute the Euclidean distance. So which will be almost equal to 25.05. So this is how we calculate. We'll get 25.05. If you substitute and can find the squares, we'll get 25.05. So this value we have computed for a single row. Like that, you have to compute for all these remaining seven different instances and you have to write the column the Euclidean distance for each of the eight instances. So next is we have to arrange this in ascending order. So since our k value is equal to 3, so the three nearest neighbors, I am not arranging in ascending order because I don't have the space here. So the three nearest neighbors are, here if you see it is 10.8, uh, 12.0 and 15.3. Rest all are above 20. So the three nearest with least value is this uh, instance 4, 5 and 6. So I am selecting these instances because their Euclidean distance is less compared to the other one, three neighbors. So for that, next step is what we have to compute. This is what the table representing the instances, four, five, six, and their classes fail, fail, pass. That's what I have taken here. So now I am adding one more column here. For this Euclidean distance, I have to compute the inverse distance. So for this 15.3, inverse is 0 0.06 for 10.8. We got 0 0.09 and for the sixth instance here, sixth row, here Euclidean distance what we computed is 12.0, the 12.0 only I have taken here and so inverse of this 12.0 is 0 0.08. Now we categorize like this. What is the next step? Next step is we have to compute the sum of the inverse distances of all the three instances which we have chosen. So compute the sum 0 0.06 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.08 is what we have taken. So we get the sum as 0 0.24. So next step is we have to identify the weight. To calculate the weight, we use a formula, this inverse distance of each class divided by the sum. So here, what is the inverse, dist inverse uh, distance of the fourth instance? It is 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 divided by sum, that is 0 0.24. So here, you will get the weight as 0 0.27. Okay, that is for instance 4 we calculated, that is instance 4. Similarly, calculate for instance 5. Here it is inverse distance divided by sum. So what is the inverse distance for that? 0 0.09 divided by sum 0 0.24. So you will get the answer as 0 0.38. And again calculate instance for instance 6. What is the distance, inverse distance divided by sum? So inverse distance divided by sum of this you will get 0 0.34. Okay. Now we calculate it. But if you see here instance 4 and 5, if you see instance 4 and 5, 4 and 5 both belong to fail class and instance 6 belongs to pass class. So same classes weights should be added. So here we add now instance 4 plus 5 they belong to the class fail. So here I am taking the value. What is the I4 and I6? I4 is 0 0.27. So we have 0 0.27 plus and next I5. I5 is 0 0.38. So you will get for the fail class, the weight totally if you take the both the instances, you will get the weight as 0 0.65. 0 0.65. And what is our pass class? In pass we have only one that is the instance 6 and what is the weight calculated 0 0.34. So if you compare both, which is the class with highest weight value, here fail class has the highest value that is 0 0.65. So the model now, it will take, it will work with the maximum weight. So the maximum weight is what here fail. So it means our given instance, what we have given, it falls under the category fail. 
So the our model will predict that the test instance a uh, class belongs to fail category. The target variable is fail. So this is how the model will going to predict. Hope you have understood. So please refer to my previous videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.